name is Carl Fuchs. I'm uh, chief of uh, a department of surgery here in Frankfurt and my special scientific interest is esophageal and gastric surgery and uh, I've been dealing with uh, reflux disease since more than 25 years. Well, I think that uh, the Lynx system will enlarge the therapeutic spectrum of uh, the GERD management. Um, the details and to what extent it will really change the spectrum, we all don't know right now and we will have to find out. And that's, I think, the, the, the focus for the next five years to come up with a few studies to, to, to really assess what benefit really some patients with reflux disease have or have not. And therefore, I think it's now important to, to, to gather data in the next five years on the system. From the speculation I have, I could say that it will uh, add to, uh, on one hand, the patients that have quite severe disease, but are managed right now still with PPIs and uh, some patients that right now get anti-reflux procedures like the Nissen funnel glycation and might be better off with a less uh, invasive procedure such as the link system. Well, the most important thing uh, is, um, in my mind, the the lesser invasiveness of the procedure because I don't need the uh, dissection. But that is very tightly connected with the selection of patients. I would only select patients where there are not many anatomical alterations. That is, no or hardly any hiatal hernia, so I can just uh, dissect a channel to place the link system, and of course that will decrease the, the trauma that this patient has and will bring him probably quicker out of the hospital. To uh, answer the question which patients benefit the most, I would currently think that this is without data right now uh, still a matter of speculation. But from the limited experience that I have, I would say that uh, patients with mild to moderate reflux disease could really benefit from this minimal invasive system as well as patients with uh, respiratory symptoms where um, uh, the, the system could stop the high reflux and uh, as a consequence cough and chronic hoarseness. Regarding a critical view or concerns of the link system, it's a foreign body. So we all don't know what the foreign body does over years or decades in our body. And therefore we have to follow these patients that we initially do very closely and see if anything is going on. For the moment, I would not foresee any special uh, problems uh, except for the MRI issue that uh, these patients are not um, allowed uh, to go into the MRI, which could be a problem in the future if they have any additional disease. If the link system becomes available in, in my country and will be reimbursed from the insurance companies, I think I can add on to some of the, uh, of the spectrum of indications in uh, bringing this system to patients with mild and moderate disease that right now I would rather um, suggest to, to wait for and uh, continue medical therapy uh, because uh, in some cases I think that um, an isn't fundoblication might be too much for this patient, uh, considering the severity of the laparoscopic Nissen funnel blockation.